Hey guys, um, basically what I've got here uh, is a really simple scene setup of uh, my cat uh, character. It's just a basic uh, cat base human. Uh, of course you guys most likely have got um, a model character which has been rigged hopefully uh, correctly and uh, skinned so it should all kind of move correctly uh, when you have the walk cycles. Um, so I'm going to play this one. I've modified it a little bit, but pretty much it's just a, a basic walk cycle. Uh, it's a little bit jumpy because uh, my laptop, well this is my old laptop which isn't very great, so um, just bear with me, you know, it's not the quickest, so it's a bit freezy. Uh, so what, what we're going to do basically is we're going to be uh, attaching the hat uh, and this bat uh, asset on the character. I mean, not that they would necessarily go together on a character, but just to kind of show you uh, the process, that's that's the main aim of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this animation. Uh, and really simply, um, I'm going to place this bat sort of around the palm area. Uh, now as you see, my character doesn't have any fingers. Um, and I know some of you guys haven't put fingers on your character yet. Um, so... I'll show you sort of how to do it the real simple way and then how to modify the fingers to make them look like they're wrapped around the handle. So first of all we're just going to use our orthographic views to see side ones here so we're just going to line up uh, this bat maybe just scale it down a little bit if you find that it's a little bit too big and try and get the angle the same as the angle as the as the angle of uh, the hand because what you want to do is make sure that it looks natural as possible so you're going to place sort of it as it just hits and meets the palm like so. You can have it overlapping slightly, um, but of course, obviously, this character doesn't have any fingers or or a thumb, uh, so it's not going to look very natural. So at this stage, it's all in position, but if I play, you know, it's just going to you know move the arms. It's not attached at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move to a frame where the hand is pretty much where I want it to be, so around here. I think around here should be fine. One of these. There we are. And the tool that I need to use is just up here in the top left corner. It's, if you hover the mouse over it will say select and link. So what you want to do is uh, click on this select and link. and this is the bit which is quite important to do this in the correct order because at this stage we can't link the hand to the bat um, we want it so that the bat is linked to the hand so what we do so that the bat can move when the hand moves is we click and hold see how the icon changes to these two overlapping squares we click and hold the left mouse button when we're hovering over the the bat and then we drag and you'll, you'll see this kind of dotted line which shows where it's going to sort of attach to where it's going to link to so I'm going to hover over just the palm uh, of the um, character and as I release you'll see that the, the palm or the hand bone uh, will highlight for a second so you see how that just highlighted white so now if I play this you can see how that bat just there is attached to the hand and it moves pretty much in any way that the hand is just to kind of give a further demonstration if I was just, just to select this hand you can see if I rotate the hand itself that the bat kind of follows it etc yeah? so it's pretty much as simple as that so I'll do the same with the hat I'm just going to grab this kind of Abraham Lincoln hat in fact let's make it black in color just to add to the effect there we are. Uh, I'm going to just drag it in the left view again, just make sure it's in the right kind of position. Again, it looks a little bit too big for his head, so I'll probably need to scale that down some. Just place it over his head. Just going to scale it probably thinner, just a bit. and I want to just angle it back slightly just so it sits on his head and maybe pull it down a bit as well so it looks like his head is sort of inset don't go down too far because uh, what you'll find is 
if you just zoom in that the head that the box kind of overlaps it so do it to a decent sort of amount so you can kind of get away with it something like that is okay so again I'm going to repeat the process I'm going to click on my select and link button just there I'm going to click and hold while hovering over the hat this time which is my asset so I'm going to click and hold the left mouse button and then I'm going to drag down and while I'm hovering over the head I'm going to release and again see how that just selected for a second it shows that that's the the bone or the object which has been attached uh, or linked to the hat so now if I play this see that the hat kind of moves with the character as well just get rid of the edges and you can see how our you know very cool very suave looking basic uh, human mesh with a bat in his hand and a very cool hat uh, is walking